All right, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to look at how do I take a Python dictionary and write that to a JSON file. And then the opposite of that, how do I take a JSON file and read that in in Python? And if you like this kind of content, feel free to subscribe. That way you don't miss any future content that you might find useful. And also I have a website. Um, it's not much to look at now. I'm still working on styling. But if you want to look for more content, hopefully by the time you see this, there will be more content. I only have three articles on here as of right now. Uh, go check this out. I'll have a link down below and you can go see if any of these articles um, interest you. So here's VS Code. I have a new file here with a variable person. It's a dictionary holding key value pairs of different properties of this woman named Carol, her age, her weight, her dog. So we have a list of different dogs here. And how do I turn this into a JSON file so I can read this in later and maybe parse through it and get some information about Carol in the future. So the first thing I want to do is import the JSON module. So at the top, import JSON. And then down below, here is where we're going to have our with statement to open a file. And we do this because if we don't, we have to remember to close the file whenever we're done writing to it. I like using these instead because once we exit the with statement, that file is automatically closed for us. So we can say with and we can use the open function. So open here is the name of our file. So I'm going to say in this directory where this dict to JSON Python file lives, let's create another file called person.json. And then the next parameter is what is the writing mode? So in our case, I'm just going to set it to W for write. But if you want to append, meaning you're going to add other stuff to this file in the future, it's not going to overwrite it every time it writes to this file. You can give it an A for append. But for me, I'm going to leave it as a W. And then we'll give it some alias, so as output. And then in this block is where we can say, write the JSON, or write this dictionary rather, to this JSON file. So we're going to say json.dump, and the first parameter is the data, so our dictionary. So I'm going to spell person correctly, there we go. And the second one is our output, the alias we gave for the file that we're opening. And that's it, pretty simple. And like I said, once it leaves this block, that file will be automatically closed for us. So let's go ahead and run this. So pi dict to json. And now you notice on the left in our explorer, we have this new parson.json file. And here is the JSON data. Cool. So now that we have the JSON data, how do we do the opposite? How do we read from this JSON file? Let's say I wanted to grab the person's name from this JSON file. How would I go about doing this? So instead of W and this with open statement, we can change this to R for read. And we'll get rid of this line completely and do json.load instead. And here we're going to load our badly named now, so maybe I should name it input now to make more sense, uh, the alias input for this file. But we wanna set this equal to something, right? We're reading this in, but we have no variable to hold this data and then be able to parse it. So up above, I'm just going to say data is equal to an empty dictionary. That way, when we leave the scope of this block down below, we can go ahead and parse this. So, so now, data is equal to json.load, and then outside of this block, once the file is closed, let's print out data, and then we want the name, so we don't have to go very far. Uh, we just put in square braces, and then the string name to get back Carol. Hopefully this works. So let's run this. And now we get back Carol. Now if I wanted to, I could get the list of her dogs. So let's loop through those dog names and print each one of those out. So for name in data, and then the key here is dogs, print name. And now if we run this, we get Mr. Barks and Rufus. So we loop through all of the dogs in this list here in the JSON file and printed each one of those out. So that's all I wanted to show in this video. Hopefully it helps if you had trouble um, writing JSON to a file or you didn't know how to do it or reading JSON into your Python script. Hopefully this helped and I hope to see you in a future video.